uh, in our research data, what we found was that um, these UFO contact experiencers, okay, totally changed. Um, uh, a couple of examples, I don't know how well some of you are versed in, in the UFO contact literature, but um, uh, the, uh, Whitley Strieber was one of these people that really um, established the genre of the negative uh, abduction phenomenon. Okay, um, so he wrote the book Communion, which is a horrible experience. And over the last five years, he's published these books that are just love and light. It's all about spirituality. Um, in a recent interview, I heard him um, uh, praying to God and giving thanks to these beings, which allowed him to communicate with his deceased wife. Okay, and it's all about God. It's about spirituality, the afterlife. So you wouldn't associate that language with a man that was horrified by abductions. But just like everyone else, uh, uh, oh, NDE is near-death experiences, okay? And so, um, 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 but what happened is just like all the other people that took our surveys, okay? These people transformed because initially, uh, what we discovered was only one third of these people had what is called an abduction. That means a physical relocation to another location uh, without your agreement. Okay, one third. The other two thirds never had an abduction. Okay, um, it was from the negativity comes from that one third that's had an abduction. But over many many years, eighty percent of the people that had an abduction, they don't call themselves abductees. They call themselves contactees. Why? Because their experiences changed over time. 